So you got into machine and production because you're a fan of real, authentic, golden era hip hop. You know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about guys like Dilla, Pete Rock, DJ Premier, maybe uh, Ski Beats in that Reasonable Doubt, Jay-Z. Authentic, real, soulful hip hop. But figuring out how to recreate this sound using your machine probably ended up being a lot tougher than it looked like once you actually got your machine. It's like, what steps do you follow in order to create hip hop beats? What do you need to be doing first, second, third, fourth, and so on? Well, the first thing that you need to know is that authentic and real hip hop is built upon a foundation of break beats. And break beats are essentially breaks within a record where the drummer does a solo and hip hop producers in the past have used these to serve as the foundation of all of their beats, all right? So most of the beats that you can name from the 90s, from that golden era, are composed of break beats. And whether they looped the break beat or they've chopped it up and flipped it in a specific way, break beats are the foundation of this genre of music that we all love. Today, what I'm gonna do is show you a really quick process that you can use to take a break beat and flip it into a really hard, you know, head knocking, br neck breaking beat using your machine in just five really simple and easy steps. My name is Rob and I am the creator of the Gold Pack, which is a package of instructional video lessons, samples, drum sounds, and machine project files. Basically everything that you need in one nice little package to teach you how to create authentic golden era sample based hip hop using your machine. All right, it's a beginning to end package to break down all those important details of, of creating hip hop beats on machine. All right, but more on that later. All right, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna jump on over to machine and I'm gonna show you this process to create hard hitting drums by flipping samples using your machine. Five simple steps, so let's get to it. Okay, so first of all, before we even get started, I wanna make sure that it's clear that you understand what a drum break actually is, all right? Some people might not understand that. You've likely heard the term before, drum break, but what is it? It's simple, breaks are basically a break in the record where the entire band breaks down and the drummer does a quick solo, all right? So the bass will stop playing, the vocalist will stop singing, you know, the guitarist will stop playing, the pianist will stop playing, and the drummer just does his thing for a little bit, all right? This is important to us as hip hop producers because it isolates the drums in the context of the record to allow us to sample those drums and use them within our beats without having to own a drum kit. You know, we don't have to own an expensive Pearl $4,000 drum kit, you can simply utilize and sample the sounds from the drum kit in which uh, you're sampling from, all right? And this is basically a technique that's used in all of our favorite hip hop beats, all right? So guys like Dilla, Pete Rock, like I said, all of these guys utilize this technique that I'm about to show you. It basically just involves taking a drum break and then Finding the position or the point within the break that you want to sample, breaking down the individual notes into slices on your machine pads, recreating the drum break, and then layering it with some more sounds and making it sound hot, all right? So the first step in this process, let's make this a little bit more clear. The first step is finding a break that's worthy of sampling. And this might be the most important step, and it has nothing to do with working on machine. It has everything to do with your sampling ear all right if you want more information on learning about the sampling ear and how to develop your sampling ear go ahead and check out my blog i have a lot of information about you know learning which records to choose and and what you should be paying attention to when you're sampling but to to summarize all of that stuff there are a few criteria in which you need to pay attention to when you're sampling specifically sampling drums i'm talking about two big things the first is the energy of the drum pattern all right because you're sampling if you are the type of person that likes to loop a sample, does the drum pattern that you're working with have the vibe and the energy that you're looking for? You know, is the tempo full of energy? You know, is it down tempo or up tempo? Does that fit the vibe that you want to work with in your overall project, all right? 
and typically I am listening for something in particular as I'll go through in a moment. The second thing that you need to pay attention to is the quality of the drum sounds that you're sampling as well. All right. So in the sample that you're about to take, how are the sounds recorded? Does the kick sound really small and quiet and, and narrow within the mix or is it full and hard hitting? Does the snare sound energetic? Does it sound interesting to listen to? Are the sounds themselves, you know, very interesting? Or they are are they generic? That's something you need to be paying attention to when you're listening for drum sounds. But instead of getting into all the details, let me let you listen to what I've sort of got going on. All right, this is a drum break that I've preloaded in. I'm not going to tell you what uh, exactly it is, um, but let's let's listen to it. And I've already done a few things to it. But the second step I forgot to mention, I'm sort of going out of order, is to get the break inside of your machine. I assume that since most of you are more advanced users, you already understand how to search for the files in your computer. Just navigate to wherever you have your samples saved. If you want to figure out more steps that you can utilize to, um, you can even go out and buy break beats from the internet. You can buy um if you don't have records, you don't have time to go out and search for breaks and records, you can figure out what what songs have breaks in them, what classic hip hop records, and purchase them off of eBay if you'd like. But the second step is to get them into machine. I, I assume that you already understand that how to do that, so I won't cover that for the sake of time. The third and the most fun step is to then take this break and to start chopping shit up, right? You take the drum break and creatively try to flip it into something different. A lot of people basically loop things over and over again when they make beats. And to me, that's super boring. Like, I don't understand why you'd want to do that. Specifically because it's it's not creative on your end and on the listener's end, especially if they're a hip-hop head, you know, a lot of these breaks are utilized over and over and over again. And a lot of people have been lazy in the past and just loop shit. So what I want you to do is chop the break and flip it. All right, so that's what I'm going to show you how to do now. Basically, this involves isolating individual hits and notes and then figuring out a new way in which to play them. So I'm going to search this loop. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to find a way to chop this up. All right, so what I just did was I isolated a portion of this break that I like. Now I'm going to go in here and adjust some of the settings, which I've already done. Just to, I've tuned it down two octaves, and I'm going to add some effects just to add a little bit more, um, a little bit more oomph out of what I have already. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Watch these knobs; you'll see how I'm adjusting the compression and the drive. So I added some compression, some drive, and I added 2.6 decibels of gain at 40 hertz. 40 hertz is the sub frequencies, which is essentially going to make the bottom end of the speaker shake, all right? And that's what I like to do typically when I'm fr flipping a break, all right? So I'm going to take this drum loop now and then sort of chop up the individual slices within here just to make sure everything is nice and cope aesthetic. I'm going to get these isolated on individual pads and try to try to recreate it. I like to chop my samples manually. I'll, I'll create a video on how I do that later just because I don't have time to go into it. But once you have this 
this pad selected what you're going to chop. I basically hold the pad mode button and change all the pads to the same choke group so that they cut each other off, all right? So I'm going to take this pad, duplicate it, and then go to the next pad. Now I have this original pad copied to pad 2, and I'm going to adjust the start and the end points to isolate the next section of the sample I want to take. Alright, so I think that's something I want to work with. I'm going to go ahead and tap tempo. I'm going to try to record this pattern in. Okay, so that is the flip portion, all right? So basically we just isolated a few points within this drum loop and snuck out individual sounds, put them on pads, and figured out a new way to play them, all right? So the next step is to take these sounds that we have all already and then layer these sounds, these chop sounds that we have, and to sort of add a little bit more, um, I guess a little bit more interestingness, that's not a word, but add a little more to the rhythm that we have already. So I'm going to find some more sounds that we can work with and um, and throw them into the project that we have. Alright, so this is kind of sloppy, not my best work, but what I'm going to do now is sort of keep uh, mixing what we have already. I'm going to show you just sort of uh, what I would do as far as the mix in order to improve the drum groove that we have already. All right, so this is essentially what we have right now, all right? So what I do at this point is move to the next step with uh, the beat. This really is in uh, the best drum groove, but just for the purpose of this demonstration, you sort of get what I'm doing. Um, at this point, what I would do is go in probably, this is my workflow, so you don't necessarily have to do the exact same thing. What I would do is find a cool, a cool electric piano sound, maybe a phase Rhodes. I throw it in chord mode, select the minor chord, and then sort of play around with the with the drum groove.
Alright, so you get the point. This is basically uh, um, the foundation of the beat. You know, you can either do an instrument version like I just did. I sort of played uh, instrumentation using machine's chord mode. Or you can even jump into the more authentic hip-hop style using a sample-based melody. And that would typically be the way that I would go about it. Just for the sake of time, I didn't have time to break that down. But I will do that in a future video. All right, so taking things to the next level involves mixing, like I said, finding this melody, maybe throwing on some sin channels or some compression. You can find videos about that linked. Um, but at this point, obviously, you're interested in learning how to create authentic hip-hop beats using your machine. And if you'd like to get to the point where you can learn the beginning to end process, you know, not only just the drums, but the sampling, the mixing, the bass lines, all the things that are foundational to that sound that you love and you want to understand how to do this on machine, then I want you to check out this new deal I've got going on. It's called the Gold Pack. It is a package of step-by-step -step instructional video lessons and soulful samples and drum sounds and machine project files that basically shows you exactly how I put together great golden era sample based beats on machine, all right? The gold pack is a retail value of 49 bucks, and even at that price, this whole package is a steal, considering that if you were able to just sell one beat license from the knowledge that you gain from the gold pack, it'll pay for itself, all right? However, today I'm running a very special deal where you can get the gold pack for just a buck. No catch, no strings attached. What you're going to do is click the link below this video. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a link in the description where you can grab a copy of the gold pack. You're going to click the link and land upon a page that looks like this. If you're on the blog, it'll be linked below the video as well. Basically, you're going to click the link, land upon this page. I'll explain to you more on what's inside and what you're going to get from this package. Everything that you're going to learn in the instructional lessons and everything else that you're going to get to clear up the confusion. And uh, click the big gold button and you'll be landing upon a page. Like I said, no cash, no strings attached, just a dollar. Inside the package, it looks like this. You can get the download links for the drum files, the samples and everything that I talked about. Here are the video lessons inside of the gold pack. There's also a bunch of cool articles, like I said, the secrets to choosing samples on machine, how to organize a digital e-crate, how to sample from the internet, how to sample using machine in five simple steps. We've also got step-by-step, -step, you know, 30-minute in-depth lessons on here, breaking down more in more detail the things that I just showed you, how to flip drum breaks on machine, how to chop and flip samples on machine how to find great samples on YouTube, the top 21 places to e-dig online if you don't have the budget to go out and purchase records. So a ton of valuable stuff, guys, all right? This package, like I said, is normally for sale for 49 bucks. Even at that price, it's a great deal. But I am, as a member of my audience and as a member, a friend of mine, I want to hook you up with a special deal. But uh, you're going to have to take advantage of this while it's still on the table. So click the link in the description or below if you're on the blog to grab your copy of this gold pack now for just a buck before the price raises, all right? Again, my name is Rob, and I am the creator of the gold pack, and I will catch you in the next video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as well to get, continue to get more free, awesome content. Um, we'll click the, click the subscribe button below, all right? I'll talk to you later. Peace.